Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to sign a PDF document. So doing this is actually pretty easy. But before we start, make sure to check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So it's actually pretty easy. The first thing that you want to do here is you want to install Adobe Acrobat for this one. So let's just head over into our browser and just want to type in the following, which is Adobe Acrobat DC. Now in here, you'll see a bunch of links, but what we're looking for is the get.adobe.com link here. So just click on it. Now from here, you will be led to this UI or this page here. So what you need to do here is you want to install Adobe Acrobat. So if you don't want to install Mac Affy Security Scan Plus here, make sure that you actually disable this one. Because sometimes if you forget to disable this one, it's going to automatically install that. And in turn, it might actually slow down your computer if you don't if you are not running a high-end computer. So once you've disabled this one, the next thing you want to do is you want to click on download Acrobat Reader and you want to just install this one. So there's no need for you to do other things. This is a that exit file. You just need to run this one and you'll be able to install Adobe Acrobat. As of right now, I have already installed Adobe Acrobat on my PC though. So the only thing that I need to do here is I just need to locate my PDF file. Now in here, since my PDF file is already here on my desktop, I just want to right click on it so that I'll be able to open it in Adobe Acrobat. Because by default, if you open a PDF file, it's going to actually open up in your browser. So we want to make sure that we want to use Acrobat for this one. So just right click on it and you want to uh, hover over open with and you want to choose Adobe Acrobat DC. Now it's going to load up this application here. And as you can see, there is already the document opening in my uh, section here. So let's just uh, zoom out a bit. So as you can see, there's a sign in section here. So we want to add our signature. So by default, if, if a section already has underscores or an other line over it, you'll be able to actually just highlight that section and you'll be, you'll be able to actually just type in that specific text that you want it. So let's just click on edit PDF first. Now from here, you'll be able to type anything that you want to say, but as you can see, it's going to actually uh, give that weird space. So there's, there's actually a much easier way for us to do this. So when you go to the top of your screen, as you can see in this section here, where is the hand zoom out, zoom in section here, you'll see the section that has the pen icon in. And as you can see, when you hover over it, it's going to say sign document by typing or drawing signature. So let's just click on that. Now from here, you will have the option to add signature. So just click on it. And from here, you'll be able to type your signature so for example, I'm just going to say it runs if I want to. So it's going to give this effect here. You could change your style if you want to as well. So you could also draw if you want. So if you want to customize this one and make it like your own. So if you're using a pen tablet, you could use that to create your signature. Or better yet, if you already have a PNG file or an image of your signature, then you could just click on image here and you'll be able to choose your image. But for this example, let's just draw something here. Now, once you've drawn that, make sure that you actually saved your signature and just click on apply. Now from here, you'll be able to use your signature. So just uh, stamp it here and you've just signed your document. So if you want to use this again, just click on your sign yourself and choose your signature here and you'll be able to use it again on future documents. Now, once you're done, just hit on control S and you'll be able to save your document or just use the save button at the top left. Now let's just close this one, open it again. And from here, as you can see, we just signed our document and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, you could use the link in your description to subscribe. See you in the next video.